What's up guys, my name is Josh and today we will be talking about Poison and where it's at in the game right now, how strong it is, does it need a nerf, does it need a buff, it doesn't. Um, <laughs> uh, and we were just talking about the card in general and where I, what I think they could do with the card, where they could go with it. And yeah, let's get into it, let's jump straight into it. Um, basically, I think Poison was introduced as one of the first cards first additional cards to come out in the game. So I think originally they had roughly around 50 cards or so. Um, obviously they've introduced 30, I think, over the last two years or a year and a half. And Poison was one of the first cards that they introduced. Um, back in the day, it used to slow, not only did it, you know, slowly decrease the health of the troop, it used to slow down the movement of the troop. And it was just insanely OP when they first released it. And that was, obviously that was at the time when the infamous uh, Goizen meta was around. Uh, obviously you had Giant Poison and then Prince and a bunch of uh, supporting troops. But that was back when the, yeah, the Poison slowed down troops as well as took uh, health slowly. And it was insane back then. I th also think it lasted 10 seconds, which is just incredible to think about. Because obviously now it lasts for 8 seconds. Um... But in the current meta and in current times, I think Poison is still insanely OP. There's just so much value. So many things can be poisoned, and for 4 Elixir, it does so much, you know, constant chip damage. That's why you see so many decks like, you know, Minor Control, Poison. And then you can pretty much, those three cards, you could pretty much put any other five cards in that deck, and you're, you will do well. So basically, for four elixir, I think it's a great spell, and it and it obviously is one of the best spells in the game. I think that it does still need another nerf. I know they they recently nerfed it. Well, I say recently, probably about. I'm not sure what the exact timing is, but I'm pretty sure they nerfed it around seven or eight months ago. I want to say, and they reduced the time from ten seconds to eight seconds. Um. I just still think that it's, it's so strong and it just offers way too much value in the game. You can pretty much poison anything and and it and you know when a spell's strong when people start creating decks um, around poison and also people start creating decks that have poison bait. When I say poison bait I mean people will create a deck for example like Three Musketeers, Minion Horde, Goblin Gang, Barbarians, you know all the cards in that deck need to be poisoned so you as the player have to des have to decide what card you're going to poison and what offers the most value and obviously most people would do would go for the three musketeers right i digress poison just the radius it has and the damage it does for four elixir there's no other spell in the game that can even compete with poison on that level you know, when you talk about other spells, the, the obviously the, the closest spell to poison would be fireball, but obviously fireball is instant upon impact, so, you know, you can't, you know, put a poison down, you can't put a fireball down for 8 seconds and have, you know, it just doesn't work like that, and when you think about the versatility of poison and how much value it can give you, it's just so ridiculously strong right now, and I really, really think that they need to nerf it again. Whether they reduce the time, whether they reduce how much damage it does, I don't know. Personally, I think that they should reduce the time again from 8 seconds to 6 seconds, but up the damage slightly to scale with it, if that makes sense. So I think right now, at tournament standard, I'm not 100% sure what the damage does, but I think it's something around, um, let's let's say 200 damage on the crown tower for example this this that's is, that isn't correct but let's say it does 200 damage on the crown tower and in 8 seconds so you reduce the time down to 6 seconds but you slightly increase the damage to you know so how can i explain this so basically at 8 seconds it does 200 damage and i think if they take 2 seconds off I still think it should do 200 damage, but within that 6 seconds, if that makes sense. Because, for example, you have cards like the Graveyard right now that are just... They're not dead, but, you know, if someone has a poison in, a, in, in the deck and you're using Graveyard, you can go ahead and you may as well call the game a draw or a loss, because it's incredibly difficult to get past the poison. 
you know you almost have to bait out their poison that's what I'm that's why I say you know it's evolved into the into this you know people have to try and think of ways to bait out a poison and then use a graveyard you know I think that's healthy because obviously then it offers it makes people think about how they can use the graveyard and 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 so on and so forth and how you can get around the poison and baiting it out excuse me but I don't think that it you know if you if you have no other bait cards in your deck and you and you're carrying graveyard and they have a poison they're gonna save that poison every single time for your graveyard which is obviously really bad because graveyards eight seconds poisons eight seconds so it completely counters the graveyard and it has the same radius as it as well so it, you can literally plop a great uh, uh, if someone comes at you with a graveyard and a knight for example which is eight elixir you can plop a, a poison down on the graveyard a defensive poison for four elixir and you've just countered their eight elixir push with four elixir essentially obviously if you have to deal with the knight you can you know deal with it with an ice spirit so you can at cheap at the cheapest possible counter you can counter an eight elixir push with five elixir every single time without fail because the the poison's radius and the timing of the poison completely counters the graveyard which graveyard is one of my favorite cards in the game it's how i got to my personal best um, and at the moment, it's 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 strong, but also dead. If that makes any sense, if you go against someone that doesn't have poison, it's really really strong. It's really strong and viable. You know, you can make any graveyard deck work as long as the opponent doesn't have poison. As soon as they have poison in their deck, you know, it's it's incredibly difficult. If there is, as long as they save the poison for your graveyard, it's incredibly difficult to get past that. So I don't, like I say, I don't think graveyard's dead, but. At the same time, it is a little bit strong, so it's a weird kind of place for it to be at the moment. Because what? How does Supercell address this issue? Do they do they buff Graveyard? Do they nerf Poison? I don't I don't know where they could go with it. Like I say, if they do nerf it, I think that they should just reduce it by by two seconds from eight to six, but increase um, but scale the damage so it does the same damage in less time. And I think that that would make a lot of difference I really do because it makes you have to learn new timings for example if someone puts a witch in the back you you know you won't be able to kind of let her sit in the poison the whole time because basically the witch is a dead card right now if someone has poison the witch is a dead card and it's always a one elixir negative trade however if they reduce this eight seconds to six seconds that means the witch can get through the poison much more quickly meaning she has more health to go at the uh, to go at the tower with. So if someone puts a giant in front of the witch, she's still gonna have that kind of, you know, one third health. Whereas if you put a, a poison into a witch at the moment, you can completely kill her because because of how long the poison's around for the eight seconds. You can completely get rid of a witch. Same for wizard. Same for night witch. You know, there's so many. Same for musketeer. There's so many troops that. The poison completely and utterly shuts down and counters that that is why it's OP for me in my opinion it just it just it counters so many cards perfectly and I think you know I understand why they haven't touched upon it because it's such a popular spell and everybody uses it but I think if they just simply reduce it by two seconds so many more cards could be introduced into the game and even in challenges because obviously I know the witch and the wizard and the musketeer are really strong on ladder if, if used correctly but if you go into a challenge and you see a witch or you, or you see a wizard you know you're gonna win the game as long as you have poison because you know as soon as they put a wizard in the back or a witch in the back you can poison that card every single time you it's a one elixir positive trade for yourself and you get rid of their card. You never have to deal with the wizard or the witch in their deck. And if their deck is a giant wizard deck or a giant witch deck, they never have that support and troop for their card. And I think that's really unfair, you know, for people that use witch or people that have used witch since day one. I know a lot of people in my clan that like the witch. They they've upgraded her every epic Sunday to get, and they've got level seven, level eight witches. But they can't use her because everybody's using poison, which completely negates that card. So I think, I, I really do think that they should, you know, touch upon it. I think, like I say, again, if they just simply reduced it by two seconds from eight to six, but scaled the damage so it was the same, I think so many more, so many more cards could come into the meta. You know, we, we could see Witch, we could see Wizard, we could see Musketeer back in the meta. All great defensive cards, but we never see them on the offense. You never see 
it's very rare that you see Giant Witch going on the offense because Poison just shuts it down every time. And I understand Fireball also shuts it down with a log and or a zap, for example, but Poison just, you know, when you compare Poison and Fireball, there's no comparison really. You're going to pick Poison every time because it does everything the Fireball does and more. That's why it's so good. And that's why I think they need to touch upon it because it's just so, so strong in the meta right now. Whether you're even talking about ladder or challenges, challenges more so. For sure in challenges, um, poison is way more prevalent. But that's only because of, you know, because people can't upgrade their cards that much on the ladder. And that's, you know, obviously a separate issue for another video. <laughs> but on in challenges, 9 out of 10 decks, if not 10 decks, will carry poison. Um, and when you start seeing usage rates like that, it's just too strong. And something needs to be done about it, I think, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys thought. Obviously, it is just my opinion. I, I could be wrong. I could be right. Who knows? Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.